afternoon, good evening. My name is Shauna and welcome to Shauna's World. Yay! So how's everybody doing today? Well, I'm doing good. <sighs> the last week, the last week, I so can't believe it. I feel like I've been here forever. It's so crazy to know that our trip is coming to an end. But we had an amazing time. Oh my goodness. Absolutely amazing. Yes, it's time to get back to life and get back to reality. And to get back to my diet because I have not done any exercise. I've been eating so good and I'm sure I put on some pounds. But I'm not really... Um, I don't feel really guilty. I mean, in all honesty, I didn't really pig out like I normally would. Maybe I had like a few desserts, like little desserts. And a few times I had like some vegan burgers from McDonald's. Uh, not McDonald's, but Burger King. By the way, Burger King has the best vegan burgers to me. Much better than McDonald's, but that's at least what I think, my opinion, but. Yes, it's coming to that time, so I don't know. Sometimes it's it's like weird, like leaving the island and then going back to reality. You know, it's like a culture shock, you know, going back going back to Germany, you know, um even even the way things look, I mean, it seems like over here the sky is much brighter. The sun is really shining over there, there's always some clouds tons of buildings and I don't know it takes some adjustment excuse me to get back into things it's the same when I go to the states and I come back over here it's like ooh culture shock <laughs> but I don't know I'm, I'm looking forward to going back at home but yeah I'm gonna miss it here as well um I mean, it's just nice. I mean, as far as... I love the fact that you wake up and then it's just nice weather, you know. I really do want that. I'm tired of this cold weather, honestly. I had enough of cold weather. I had enough, enough, enough. And rainy. And cold and rainy. I don't like it anymore, so... Eventually, I will make a decision if I'm going to move here or somewhere in the south because, yeah, like I said, I definitely want to be in an area where the sun is always shining. Wait a second. I'm making my vegan burger. Wait. Okay, so that's what I'm eating. Like, ooh, what is that? That's um, avocado. This is a wrap. And that's um, veg vegetable burger vegan burger made out of a um like a soybean um soybean and i don't know what else is in there i gotta look it up however it's vegan plant-based so and then basically i just wrap it up mm. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm. I don't know about you guys, but when I eat them, I always got to dance. Mm. Yeah, yesterday we went to, um, excuse me, yesterday we went to the uh, Sheraton and had uh, dinner there. Oh, they got the best buffet. They really do. High top five star quality the food is wow presented really nice i couldn't really go through there with the camera guys so but i did do one time a video where i showed how the uh sheraton uh, buffet looks and it is it's presented so well the chocolate fondue and they have the oysters and they have the all nice fruits lined up. It's just really nice, top quality. And what one thing I really like about their buffet is they they really have a huge selection. Um, 
with uh, yeah vegetables and um, potatoes so if you're vegan there's enough there for you to eat and try out you know whereas a lot of the like buffets especially in the hotels that I've been to over here they don't offer that much um, or in general it's very um, it's not that common that you go to a restaurant here and then they have a huge vegan selection or you know something for somebody who just doesn't want to have meats so Sheraton really provides a lot and the food is really tasty prepared really well um, so I can highly recommend it and I always get like two servings so it's funny because I really pick off I pick out on the vegetable selection but delicious in general I mean um, and afterwards we kind of hung out and experienced the nightlife and the entertainment what they offer for kids is really nice I mean they have like a huge movie theater indoor movie theater so the kids can be inside watching movies and then and they have like outside they have like entertainment near the bar area they had a live singer nice music up to now that's the the nicest uh, entertainer I've experienced since being on the islands I mean, between Lanzarote and here um, I would say Sheraton had the best entertainer um, because I like jazz and so they played a lot of you know this one singer she was a jazz singer and she sang a bit of bossa nova and she did uh, she sung in her own language which was Spanish so she also a little bit of salsa in her mix which is also sometimes I mean I hate going to a hotel or in, in general this you know people who are entertaining and they sing these pop songs you know I would prefer to hear the native music you know I want to hear some salsa I want to hear some some uh, yeah some would you say Latino music or South American music or Spanish music. I, I don't like Spanish pop. Forgive me, those who come from Spain, but no, I'm just not feeling it. It's very westernized, so. No, I like to hear the traditional mu music. I love cu Cubana, Cuban music. Um, what do you call it? Uh, something like the um, Boa Vista, something in that direction. Um, yeah but however the music was really nice the lady was singing bossa nova was like "Ooh, this has got to be another trip let's go to brazil that's been on my bucket list i um for the longest so i've been wanting to travel to brazil but i just hear so many nightmare stories about that it's really um it's dangerous you know with the crime and stuff crime is really bad over there I don't know how true that is, but you know, I, I would love to one day go to or visit Brazil. I mean, I, I can imagine I would be fascinated to walk along the Copacabana, probably see a lot of beautiful people, but yeah. Anywho, what else? Yeah, yesterday was a really relaxing beach day. I was so bored laying on the beach I mean I was doing so many snapchats and yeah it was so weird I was laying on the beach and here come this this wasp or bee or whatever and I'm like where did you come from it's like we're in the middle of the desert I mean because Puerto Ventura is quite deserty like it's rocky volcano and it's like where did this bee come from you know out of nowhere I mean it, because you don't have bees here or wasp here. I mean, I'm, they do exist, but it's just like you encounter one, one or two, I guess, and that's it. So it was so weird. It landed on my person that was around me. In Germany, they're like crazy. It's like if you go outside to eat, here come a wasp, you know, circling around you, like three or four. It's quite annoying, but... However, you get used to it. So it was really funny that 
I'm laying out and here comes this wasp. I'm like, ugh. But anywho, yes, I was quite bored. So I, I posted a lot on my Instagram account. So guys, if you get a chance, follow me on Instagram. It's under it at it's Shauna. Shauna World. I, I wasn't able to get it's Shauna's world, unfortunately, but I was able to get at it's Shauna World. I know it sounds crazy, but it's what they had. So, however, if you get a chance, follow me there. I'm also posting there. So, I'm not that good with posting yet, but I do post. I do post. I try to keep it up. Um, yeah, it's a lot, you know, social media, it's, that is a job itself, you know, trying to keep up everything and put stuff everywhere, I mean, however, yeah, so, last week, so I'm going to try to enjoy today, probably go to the beach, hang out, and then let's see what shops I can raid before heading back, um, I have this, um, I've discovered this really nice scent for the bathroom in one of my favorite shops called Natura. And, oh, they got the best smells there for the, you know, room smells, um, incense, um, what do you call it? They're not incense, because incense is what you, um, they're like incense sticks, but they're not incense sticks. It's with the oil and then the, you put the scent sticks in. And they really, they smell so good. But they only work in small spaces. But um, if you do get a chance to come to Natura, you definitely want to hit this shop, Natura, because they definitely do. They have the best scents here. Wait a second, I'm going to show you. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. So here is the stuff. It's really good. It's called Madagascar. Madagascar. Madagascar van Vanilla. And this is from this uh, shop, Natura. You see them everywhere over here in Puerto Ventura. Not sure about the other islands, but it's a really cool place where you can buy gifts and all types of neat little things. Um, they don't allow you to film in there like a lot of stores so i'll try to show you or at least show you the logo so you know what to look for when coming over but they got the best sense and it's a liquid and you just put these little sticks in there and it, the whole room is like wow so anywho guys i'm going to carry on today like i said it's probably going to be beach and just hanging around so anywho I'm going to mosey on, and uh, perhaps I'll talk to you guys later. I got some things to show, that, which I've purchased within the last two or three days, and maybe a few other things that I like to chat about later on, but however, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. I'd love to have you all be a part of my group. Anyway. Until next time. Oh, don't go nowhere. Oh, I'm so weird. Bye. Don't go nowhere.